I, so I have a question. I have a question on the should thing. Yeah. Sh if you have a child, should you feed the child? That, I mean... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good guys. Today we're going to be reacting to... This is why men are becoming feminine, guys. Um, we had a man becoming feminine. Yeah. They are all in a feminine energy. So guys, let's go right now. Don't you got something? Yes. Um, okay. So, where I think what we're talking about is on both sides to even it is that we're talking about the past, right? Yes. And that we can't, we don't know what happened in someone's past unless we choose to have the conversation with them. If we're judging them from their past right off, that's going to be your win or loss. And that's for you to decide if you want to have that conversation or not. People experience life and all parts of life and growing up in um, in different ways mm -hmm. and possibly have trauma in different ways and things happen so it goes all from finding out those things you know if you don't know if that person grew up in a way that that was normalized or whatever and they were promiscuous when they were younger but now they're realizing oh that we are more sacred that I don't want to be giving my body out like that like I've the best relationships are being able to see that that person changed and being that it's not, oh, you slept with all them first, why aren't you sleeping with me first? It's seeing, okay, I can see you're at maybe a little bit more immature state of, state of your mm. time, of your life. Um, so you're saying that, that mm -hmm. everybody grows up differently. We all have our past traumas and sometimes, you know, you were promiscuous in the past, but now you've, you've changed your ways and somebody should accept you for that. I, I don't like to use the word should. It's one of my things, I'm trying to eliminate so, that shit word, but... Wh why, um, why not? <laughs> should? Yeah, it's quite a common word in the vernacular. It is a very common it's word. Um, there's a lot of it. common words that we could delete from our language, but should is a shit word. It just makes us judge each other, um, put ourselves against, like, um, compare ourselves to each other, and then it makes us give ourselves standards that we're not really doing. We're saying that, oh, we should do this, we should do this, we should do this. It's saying, like you're putting yourself at failure. I, so you're I have a question. Down. I have a question on the should thing. Yeah. Sh if you have a child, should you feed the child? That, I mean, what? it is best looked upon to feed the child. Do you, do you, do you, you wait, do you, do you, who's to say do who you, one should or shouldn't do? Hold on. A child needs to eat. So do you object <laughs> to the, the following sentence? Okay. People should no, feed their I children. Say, parents need to feed their children okay mm -hmm. but did you object to what he said and the way that he phrased it do you also object to the word no. need because but, need okay, seems so, much well more i wasn't finishing my finishing my what thing about, about it so with should do you, how do you feel anytime about that you use should you can mostly replace it with would or could and would is the actual that you're willing to do it because you know what she said she doesn't use what should because like it's like you're boxing yourself in in most situations because when she explained about Or that you possibly could do it. So what's your beef so with should, though? The, I don't what's the, what's wrong with should? Would. Should's a good. What because about ought? Now you're just using synonyms. Do you like ought? Sure. Ought is a good word. I don't know what that means. You don't know ought? Someone ought to do something. Oh. Ought refers to it being a natural. Should, should a natural I Google thing, it? Let me like just Google the definition law. of ought. You use that in yeah. sort of more religious religious talk. Ought. So this came to me though with when I so what. When I had a boyfriend, right, that he was not getting his license. He had his license removed, and then he could get it back. And I was just like, he should get his license. He should get his license. And then someone asked me, who's to say what one should or shouldn't do? It's the whole butterfly effect. You don't know what's going to happen. If I pushed him and said, you should get your license, you should get your license, he gets his license and gets in a car accident. Who's to say that he was supposed to get his license at that time? 
Okay, it's all in people's own oh. time to so say. I feel like hmm. you. I feel like you read this on a tarot card somewhere, and and now no. now you don't really know what? why you said it. <sighs> I'm. You know, this is I actually have a whole curriculum for childcare based off of this. If really, like you teach kids that. that they shouldn't shouldn't say should. Hmm? Do you teach kids that they shouldn't say the word should? I encourage education around the word. Don't, but like I think I, th- I feel words. like when you say that people sh- shouldn't say the word should, you're saying that there are no sort of I didn't say we should. There are no objective standards, so that you're, so people should do whatever they want to do, all the time. You can do whatever you want to do. But, but is that your beef with should? Because you're telling people that we shouldn't say that people should do anything? I'm not saying you shouldn't. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying, though. So, so is, is ultimately why you don't like the word should is because you don't believe that there should be objective standards. Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure. Cause I'm because if I say that. That, that someone should feed their children, mm-hmm. I think I could also say that someone ought to feed their children because it's mm-hmm. like an, a, and that makes sense to make it an ought claim. But if I say somebody should feed their children, I'm saying that there's but an that's objective standard. It, right. okay, so Hold yes. on a second. I'm just okay. saying I'm saying that there's an objective standard that we all have to abide by that people should feed their children. Should so that, is a judgment that's automatically making it that they will <laughs> feed their children. Do they wait, can feed their children. Do it you, doesn't matter. My judgment has no do opinion. Do you object to judgments? I limit judgment. I think it's a powerful word, I would say. Should. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I just feel like that you're saying that because you don't believe that there is anything objective. Because then no. how, can, how can you eliminate the word should if you think that there are because objectives? Because most times that you use the word should, in, from now forward in your future from here, try it. When you're about to say should, try to replace it with would or could. No, because I actually have. And that will give you more integrity I, I to have, your life. It won't make you right. be like, oh, I'm gonna like half-ass this, or I'm gonna oh, I should do I that. I think this is like comparison. no, 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 fruitless. I, no, but I think that I think it this, did definitely go left can, field from what. It just I was depends on your say, worldview. That's why I find it interesting though, because in my worldview, I have things that I. Th- I'd love to talk to I, you about this more on some sure. other time. I use should it, a lot as a positive. Um, encouraging thing like oh you should do this to like inspire somebody like but then that makes them feel like they have they're like oh i have to do this it puts so much pressure and comparison on each other iron sharpens iron pressure is a great thing well let's i I do want to come back to the kind of the i don't know why they took away from the position she was having having and just like making her feet after the shoes i don't know about in other reference in that situation, in that conversation they were having, the reason why she tried to not use the word should is like she's trying to make it look like you shouldn't it shouldn't be something that you are like boxing. Like you don't have to accept somebody because of their past. So she don't want to use the word like you should, like it's a must, you have to accept them because of their past. And no normally I have conversations and I use the word should, it's a normal situation. But she was just because if she had said yes, you should accept them, it should have been a different conversation yeah. altogether. So it'll be like, so I have to accept someone who abused herself. So you see, it have been a different situation. So should. she was just trying to let them know that it's more like should is like a kind of a must. Or yeah, like because it. there was something the other girl said that she used should in um like as a positive statement to someone that like, yeah you should do this, but she kind of made it like she now said that when you say oh yes you should do this, it's, it's kind of making it look like. I don't know. It, that's why I said it depends on how everybody's going to take it. How different different people take things differently. So you can say, "Oh, you should do this," and then maybe that person is feeling kind of pressure, pressure that I have to do this thing. Yeah. You get. But then when you say like you could do it, it's more like you're weighing an option. Yeah, it's subjective. Yeah, thing and for the it's person. More so I, I kind of get her point, but Brian always makes it. Yeah, uh, I think they're trying to twist it Brian in a way that, that makes that. her look like she's crazy or something but you know what like so far so good she has been my best on whatever podcast yeah. because like she knows what she's saying so no matter how you want to throw it at her she has how to put it that you are going to, and she's literally trying to make everybody understand because the guy too was trying to like explain how he uses shoot and like you know but she's still trying to i don't know trying to adjust your thoughts for you I'm trying to explain why she said it in the first place, and I, I feel it's really good. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Basically, the only thing I don't really like about the whatever podcast is the fact that they try to like twist your words and make you feel stupid or something. Because now he turned it into like, so you shouldn't feed your kids, you shouldn't feed it. And she's like, parents also give their kids food or yeah, something. I don't she know said, she, like, parents need 
to feed their kids. You know, I, I'm really so proud of her because yeah, she no matter how you do it, well. she would tell you how it is, and I think that's that's really great. In the sense of the conversation saying. they were having, she she used it. She tried to eliminate the, the word "should." So yeah, example like, Brian brought out was not even yeah. He, sense as no, he was just trying time. to like make her look stupid. Basically, that's what I think. Because she was just trying to twist the words yeah, and make her feel like. They're talking about people's past, and she was right when you said like. Don't use you the don't, word. It's not a Yeah, word, right? you, you don't have to accept. How did she put it? You should. The guy said so. You should accept someone. Um, even with that past, so she was not like she wouldn't use the word should exactly because it sounds like you must accept them, you have to like accept them a, I mean, regardless of their past. But if you had said so, you would accept people regardless of their past, it's like it's your choice, yeah, you have to accept them or not. But if you use the word should, it means you don't, you don't have a choice, you don't have a choice, you, you, just as, have, you have to accept them, it does not matter what their past is, and then it looks like anyone can fool around and then be accepted regardless yeah. of anything. So it's more of a good. Good. But yeah, it's not of a, if if you are okay with your lifestyle, then, accept yeah. them. But don't judge people up front about that past without getting to know them first. Well, I'm not going to lie. I learned something new today and I'm grateful for that. But guys, you tell me what you think about this. What well, what do you think your thoughts are on this? Uh leave your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. We love you guys.